Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a question of uh, October 15, 33 variant and question number nine. Topic is a complex numbers. And first of all, we have to go to solve. <clears throat> so question number nine, A part. So we can say here, one plus three iota time to W equals to two plus four iota. So this whole will divide on right hand side, and then we have only one choice, and that is called rationalize. Multiply up and down with a conjugate of the denominator. Conjugate, this whole process is called rationalize. So let's see how we can continue. So two into one, two. Two into three, negative six iota plus four iota. Four into three, 12, and iota into iota become iota square. Down I can multiply or first term match, second terms match, sign opposite. I can apply a square minus b square property. One and three iota. Or you can multiply directly, no issue at all. So these two values solve, I get negative two iota. And iota square, every person knows is equal to minus one. So it's minus one plus 12 and 12 plus 12, I'm writing it here. And one and square of three give you nine and square of iota is minus one. And I can say that 12 and wait a minute, please. <clears throat> uh, yeah, mistake, no, no, it's okay. <clears throat> 12 plus two, 14 minus two iota by this minus one is plus, so 10. And ultimately, I can say that I got uh, uh, two sevens are two fives are, and uh, one over five iota. Alhamdulillah, I mean, I got the uh, part. Okay. First part done. But he's, he's, he did not ask for W. He asked for prove that exact value of W square is two. I have two choices. Choice number one, I square and solve it. Uh, second choice I have. I will use technique. I will find directly the modulus of W and that you all of you know, seven by five square plus minus one or five square. And answer is coming root two. Let me recheck. Uh, <clears throat> seven over five square and plus one over 25 is coming two. It means root two is coming this one. If this is the coming root two, uh, root two and I, uh, we discussed already the W square modulus it means if W modulus is this, then, <coughs> then what is a, a W modulus whole square? Is square of the whole thing, or you can say, sir, the, the square is inside. For your knowledge, um, square inside or outside, same story. So it means even I can write inside even. So two answer. This is the first part done. Now he's asking argument. And before I start, it is a very clear approach. We can find is a real diagram. It is a very clear, there's a positive, but iota is negative. So it means my answer is, is coming in this way. So this is angle theta. <clears throat> this is a seven over, four, sorry. This is a seven over five, and this is a one over five. I use, uh, uh, I need an angle. So how to find angle? All of you know, theta is equals to opposite by adjacent, so tan inverse, uh, make sure convert in radian mode. So 10 inverse, 1 over 5 divided by, wait a minute. Uh, <clears throat> or I can say that, okay, I'm writing first of all for you. You can understand. Theta is equals to 10 inverse. 10 inverse opposite is 1 over 5. Adjacent is 7 over 5. And I get theta uh, is, is a 1 divided by 7. 7 is becoming 0 0.14. Uh, one for two radians, radians. But you know it very well. What is the argument is coming? Argument for your surprise, uh, not surprise. I mean to say, uh, this is a theta. But what is argument? You know, I do it here. Uh, if your theta is this, and what is the argument? Start from positive x axis till this one, so it's coming negative because I'm going clockwise. Clockwise always negative. So what is the argument? Argument is negative 0 0.142. Make sure theta is this angle only. But as I'm going clockwise, so this is coming negative sign. But now, what is the basic criteria of a W square argument is the same like uh, logarithm property that if I have a square inside, square will come and multiply below. For example, 
argument of W square is same behaving like a two times two argument of W. And two uh, argument of W, I have this, so just multiply with two. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I hope so. You got a point and I go, I'm getting answer what? Negative 0 0.284, <coughs> sorry for that. And my angle is coming 0 0.284 radians. Okay, let that woman please recheck once again. One minute please, 10 verse, one divided by seven. Yeah, it is correct. And 0 0.284 radians, clear. After this, uh, what is the next plan? Uh, he's asking for part number two. He is saying, uh, let me read a question. On a single diagram uh, sketch, uh, this locus and this locus, both are called loci. Both loci draw a same spot, same area. This is circle and this is called perpendicular bisector. How come if one Z involved and here some length is given, this is called circle. So let's discuss circle first. And I'm discussing part B and Z modulus is equals to five. In short story, I am writing zero plus zero iota, just sake of your understanding. This is called center of circle, and this is called radius. So I am, first of all, I'm making circle here, or I make a little big, better to understand properly. Okay, now <clears throat> I take a scale and I make a, uh, this is the X axis and I make this is a, wait a minute, this Y axis, okay. And now <clears throat> it's a very clear approach. This is a five, this is five, this is minus five, this is minus five. This is called real axis, real axis. And this is called imaginary axis. Okay, now this is done, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Let's talk about second one, Z minus five and Z. So Z minus five and Z, Z minus five and Z. Uh, this is called perpendicular bisector. You can ask me how you know, sir, because logic is what? Let me write first, then I explain to you. Whenever Z involve on both sides, okay, with the modulus, with the modulus, it's called perpendicular bisector. And I took negative comment from here because you know, this negative, this negative, this negative is compulsory. So I got this five converted into five plus zero iota. There's no number beside I write myself, zero, zero. So zero, zero is here and five is here. So I'm going to make a perpendicular bisector. I know that one point, okay, let's make a green color. Green color. This point is here and this point is here. And I know that confirm that the perpendicular sector will go from, from the middle of that. It means like this. Wait a minute, please. Mm, this. Uh, you can ask me how to <clears throat> actually, uh, when I put a needle here and take a compass put a, and make a, a, this kind of arc and put needle here with the same arc, I make an arc like this. So they cut it at this and this. And if you want to do you know, on the compass, so join these two points and I get this kind of perpendicular bisector. This point is called P and this point is called Q. And what he's asking from us, he's asking from us, read it please. He's saying, uh, determine the complex numbers represented by the points of the both loci meet uh, and give answer in this form. And you know, this is called a polar form or exponential, this is called exponential form. What is this? It's called modulus. And what is this? It's called argument. So let's find it. <clears throat> so first of all, I just explain you. I make it a, let's take a scale and I join the black color, black color, this, this. Okay. And similar, same way I join with other. So this is a, not compulsory to make it. Just sake of your understanding. Wait a minute. Okay, now uh, this is angle, this is angle theta, and this is also theta. For your knowledge, this is theta, this is called negative theta, because clockwise, and this is R. So let's try to find it, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And you know, it, uh, 
this what is it? This radius five, 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 five. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, radius is five. So R is five units. So no need to find it R. Only what left argument left. Common sense. This is a five, this is zero. What is this number? This number is 2.5. So I'm writing this point, it's 2.5. Okay, can I make this right angle triangle? Yes, why not? This right angle triangle we have. Okay, I'm going to make here right angle triangle. Inshallah, I believe you'll understand. This gap is 2.5 and this gap is five. How come radius is five? Alhamdulillah. And this is theta. <coughs> and let's talk about uh, adjacent by so, so cos theta cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse. And when I find cos inverse, the 2.5 over five, and I'm getting here pi by three, pi by three. And so what is the worst P coordinate, P coordinate, and then I write for Q coordinate. So five times two E to power pi by three iota, and Q is five times two e to power minus pi by three iota. Why minus? Because I'm going clockwise and this is a, and magnitude, this is five is called magnitude. It remains same, length remains same, length no change. Only iota, sorry, this pi, this argument sign will change and that's it. I hope so. You got the point very 